guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be playing with blue blood from jeffree star as soon as i saw him post this on instagram for the first time i fell in love with it i love how it looks like a coffin it has all the details in it like he really thought this through like he really put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into this palette because it looks amazing it looks like a jewelry box like and it's heavy like it's just so pretty but all of his like blood collections like uh i think the first one was blood sugar blue blood and the bloodlust they're all like amazing it's like he keeps getting better over time and i'm like so excited to see like his future palettes because they're gonna look so good so for today's look not even on front it was like giving me a headache because i had no idea where i was gonna go with this look i had a, like i had an idea of what i wanted to do and then i did it and i did not like it and i was like okay either i'm gonna take this all off and do it again or i'm gonna just like work with it so i was like you know what let me just work with it so at first i was just gonna have like a nude look and then from there just put like in my inner corner a little blue put blue on my under eyes and that's it so i thought but instead, I didn't like how it like came out. I just didn't like anything of it. So I kind of started bringing it up to my lid and like half lid. It's like, you know, I did what I could just to save this look. And I mean, I'm not mad at it. I feel like I could have done a lot better. But it's, I feel like it's a subtle look. I feel like it's not too pop out. This was like a last minute. Like I did not think this through. I was like, you know what? Let me just play with this. Let me see how this looks. And this happened. So I also used a new product under my eye. I used my NYX Professional Makeup Pencil. Eye Pencil. In the shade Sky's Shimmer. It's really, really cute. Today was my first time using it. It's not as noticeable. In camera, I feel like cameras do no justice. Is it just me? Because I feel like in the camera, it does no justice. But me seeing it in the mirror, it looks like, okay, that looks cute. But here, it's not, it's not working with me. So this pencil, I put it under my eyes to give me like a nice blue shimmery look. And then I put the same shade I put in my top lid on my bottom lid. And I did a cat eye sort of look. So I made it work. I made it happen. The no product that I tried today on my eyes was the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I got the mini version as a sample from sephora so i tried it out today and let me tell you this one i feel like it's so much better than the anastasia primer because you guys know that i've been having like patchiness with the anastasia primer for like ever and with this one i didn't have it today so i'm gonna just give it another try i'm gonna keep using this one i'm gonna keep trying it and if i keep falling in love with this then i'm gonna just have to buy a full size all right guys i'm gonna let y'all finish watching this video and before you leave don't forget to subscribe turn your notifications on like comment down below let me know your thoughts and thank you guys for watching and i hope you like this video until next time all right guys today we're using a blue blood palette but first i'm going to use my urban decay eyeshadow primer this is my first time using it and i really like how it looks it's not as pale as my anastasia one it blends really easy i like the shade and it's just really good i like this one so far first shade i'm going into is priceless it's a very light tan color it did take a while to build up that color because it's so light, but I feel like this was a really good transition color. Now I'm going in with Celebrity Skin, which is a slighter tanner color than the first one, Priceless. But this one, was I had to build it up as well because it was light. So on the camera, you can't see it as much. But in the mirror, I was able to see that tan color. It was just, I had to do it a couple times to get there. Now I'm going in with Blue Blood. And I'm going to put that in my corner. So I thought, um, I really like this color. It's not too bright and it's not too light. You could tell it's blue, but it's like a little subtle blue. It's not as blue or like too bright. It's a really nice color, but... As I was playing with it, I was just, I wasn't feeling it. Like, I wasn't feeling how it looked. I didn't like it at all. So, you're going to see me try to, like, work with it. Because I was, like, about to give up. This was the part where I was like, you know what? I'm going to move this blue to the top. Because that looked a little bit better than how I had it in the beginning. It was such a headache. Because, honestly, I was not expecting to do this. But you know what? I didn't give up and I kept going. Now I'm going in with my NYX eye pencil in the shade Sky Shimmer. 
and it's blue but it's like a shimmery blue it's the same blue as the one that i have on my lid it's just shimmery it was a very light blue so i did have to go over a couple times now I'm blending the shades together so it doesn't look as rough and it actually looks like a very soft look. It doesn't look too loud. And I'm using the shade Blue Blood on my under eye as well. Now I'm going in with my favorite NYX black eyeliner. This eyeliner is amazing. The brush is just perfect. While I was doing my wing line, I decided that I want to do the cat eye. So it's kind of like the pointy part in your inner corner. And that actually took a while to get done because I usually mess up on that. I'm still learning how to do it. But yeah, I decided the black would look perfect with the blue and the tan. Now that my eyelashes are on, I'm going to go in with my Seat London Watermelon Hydrating Primer. And I'm going to use this primer all over my face. This is my very first time using it. It smells amazing. I think I overdid it with the primer. So I had to use my brush and put it all over my skin and all over my face. Because I wasn't even realizing how much product I was using. While I was doing this, I realized that my face actually felt sticky. So I don't know if that was a pro or a con, but I'm hoping it would actually make my makeup stick longer. Now I'm going in with my Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Latte 300N. And I'm applying this all over my face. And actually the primer did help it because I felt like it stuck more and it gave me more coverage. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium natural and this was my very first time using this concealer but I heard that it was really good and that it was similar to my makeup revolution so I started using this all over my under eye and my forehead. So far I really like how this concealer is it kind of reminds me of my makeup revolution it's very lightweight and it's definitely full coverage so I really like this concealer. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and this bronzer is amazing. It is a little lighter so I do have to go in a couple times but it blends so so good and it's so nice in my complexion. Now I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Baking Powder in the shade Banana Bread and I'm using this to bake my cheeks and my under eye. Now I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation Powder and I'm using this to set my face. Now I'm using my Anne Rizzi Highlighter and this highlighter is just so bright. It's amazing. I love it. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Seriously Satin in the shade Cream, which is like a nice pinky nude. It's a very cute color, but it's very nude and it's very matte. So I'm going to top it off with my NYX Lip Plumper in the shade Brunch Drunk. And it's so cute, so glossy. This is like a really good plumping lip. Now I'm using my Glow Recipe Setting Spray and we're finished. And this is my final look. Hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching.